going on everyone welcome to uh another video it's been a little while here just gonna do a quick one so i'm working on a 2013 tiguan and it has the um electronic rear parking brake on it and i before i looked it up i tried with just a regular caliper compressor to screw it back in and basically it doesn't let you screw in like on the older styles with the twist in one uh you need vcds the volkswagen software to go into the computer and unlock the caliper basically from what i understand at least um it just makes it so it can spin freely and then you're able to compress it but i don't have a cable that works for this car so what i found um I'm going to show you right now how to do All right. it. So, in the car, this my Power Probe 3 must have tool. This thing is amazing for finding electrical faults and all kinds of stuff. We're also going to use it to reset the caliper. So, power is plugged right into the cigarette lighter, or you can use the other adapter to go to the battery. Grab our cord. Bring it over here. All right. So, the uh, ignition's on. You can see this lights up when it's on. When you push negative, it grounds out the circuit, or positive gives it power. So, this has a cable that runs down with a ground clamp. Basically, what you're gonna do, is lay your caliper up like this. You can see the two prongs in there, and you're gonna connect the ground to either one of them. We're just gonna see which one spins it the right way. So I'm just gonna pick the bottom one for our ground. Up. Hopefully without that popping off. See it's clipped on. This thing beeps, which I'm gonna shut off the beeper. Like that. Set that on the other terminal in there. It's really hard to see. Now I'm gonna hit power on this. Well, that's not touching. All right, so, let me flip. All right, so I reversed the terminals just to show you. So when you hit the power button on the probe, that's the top button here, gives it power. If you watch this, if you have it going the wrong way, it'll extend. Yeah. So if it's going out, you're gonna flip the terminals again. It's like that, they're flipped. Put your power to the other one. Make sure it's not going out and then hold it so it's all the way bottom down. Perfect. So you saw that twist on the end there. It's all the way bottomed out. So you can take your probe off. And then to reset this, you're literally just going to do a regular caliper. You don't need to twist. Literally just put a C-clamp on it, bottom it out, put it back together, and you're done. So that saves you from having to get the VCDS cable to unlock the caliper. You can also do it without the power probe if you just run positive and negative off the battery. Touch each of the leads in here. You could do the same thing, essentially. That's all this tool is doing. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to put a C-clamp on it. Squish it all the way in, and I'll show you. Alright, there it is. Use the C-clamp. Uh, I wouldn't put it on the back here. You know, normally you would put the C-clamp over the whole thing and squish it in. But this is plastic, so I did it off of either this bolt or just the back here and tried to push it in as flush as I could. So there it is. It's fully reset, so I'm going to put it back together and then show you what else to do. Alright, here we are. We're back. All set here. Got the caliper tightened down, new pads, everything. You can see. The play that's in that. So what we're gonna do, real simple. We're just gonna come around, grab keys. Get in, first thing we're gonna do. Pump it up to get rid of all the slack in it. There we go. 
open. Yeah, the key's broken. I'm gonna talk about that. Turn it on. Perfect. Lock your parking brake, you'll listen to it. Here, just how long that side spins. Right, my bad. Forgot to plug that caliper in. <laughs> so that's why this light is blinking. Hopefully we don't gotta reset anything, but we'll just try and pull it. There you go. You heard how long it ran. Take it off. Same thing again. Perfect. That's it. Now they're working good. No weird lights. Besides the normal. <laughs> Take it back off. Okay, shut this down. Just make sure your caliper is unlocking. There we go. Everything's good. That's it. That's how you reset without the computer. So, let me know what you thought down below. Feel free to like it, subscribe. See you in the next one.